Hey everybody, this is Steve of Steve and Jennifer at The Common Milkweed. I'm going to do a quick one of two part video on a rainwater collection system we're setting up so that we can water our container plants in the nursery every other watering with rainwater because our well water is a little off in the terms of chemistry for container plants. So we wanted to be able to collect rainwater and uh, to be able to water every other watering that way. So a lot of people are using these totes. You can YouTube to uh, rainwater harvesting totes and you'll get hundreds of videos. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but I wanted to show you quickly what we've done because it's kind of simple and low budget to see if it's going to work. And if it does work, I can perfect it later. But for now, I wanted to balance perfection with completion. So for now, it's complete enough to actually collect rainwater and see if it works. Real quick, each tank has a ball valve that you can turn on and off. And so I tied them all together in series in a sort of a manifold fashion with ABS pipe. A lot of people are using to go from the uh, ball valve on the tanks to their manifold. They're using um, a little more elaborate, expensive connections. I just used, I think these are called a fern co fitting, but they're a plastic rubber uh, fitting with um, pipe clamps on both ends that you can connect your manifold to your tanks. So those are all connected together in series. And I'm going to walk along here carefully because there's some stinging nettle here and I don't want to get stung. But you can see the ABS pipe goes along all these tanks and is tied. They're all tied together with an elbow fitting to uh, a T and, and into each, into the manifold. So on each end of the series of four tanks, I've got a T valve or a ball valve and then part two is going to be how I get from the ball valve to uh, actually watering the plants. Uh, so the the water is obviously coming from this roof so half of the barn roof it's not a huge barn but it's enough to get these filled up pretty quickly in a good rain. It goes from the gutter to a downspout to a flexible plastic uh, downspout extension into the top of one tank with some screen mesh that's pretty low tech, but it should allow us to test this out. After, If it works great, I'll probably come up with a little better system of getting the water into the tanks, which will be a little more automatic and not require constant monitoring of the, of the screen to make sure it doesn't plug up. So basically we're set up to be, to be able to collect the water and get it in storage, 275 gallon times four, which is a pretty good amount since we're just watering our nursery. We're not trying to water, you know, 20 acres of corn, but that's enough for what we're trying to do. And, and so it's enough to test this out. We'll test it out and give you an update on how it went and also how we ended up deciding to get from the tanks to the actual nursery plants. So for now, that's it. Um, if you want more in-depth info on these, just YouTube, uh, IBC, I think it's IBC, IBC totes for rainwater harvesting and you'll get hundreds of lengthy videos that have way more details than I have, but I feel like this is a simple way to get them set up quickly, to, to, to test it out, to see if you like the way it works before you invest hordes of time in perfecting it. So for now, signing off, and I'll do part two soon.